Today trying to fix neon, Dodge neon power fans do not work. Already replaced relays many times. This doesn't help. We'll replace the wire today, which goes from the fans to the power connector. I will give it a try. And the most important, I also got these two relays which uh, located, it could be uh, resistors, which located on a fence itself. This one and this one. I will replace them today as well for the spares and we will check the results. First I will replace the wire which powers the fence. This one I just removed, which I modified to connect directly to the battery to make the fence always spinning. This is the replacement which I will replace right now. I'm replacing the wire because I read on some forums that dropping resistance, for example, on four, four towers located under the left high beam. In this Dodge Neon, I don't see any dropping, couldn't find do, dropping resistor under the left uh, beam. Um, that's why on some forums I read that dropping resistance uh, could be located in a power connector itself. In this case, I doubt that the dropping resistor could be here. Those are the dropping resistors. They are located on a fan itself. On a fence itself. When the wire was replaced, still the same. This doesn't help. I keep the full block. They do not move at all. Compressor spins, plus the fans do not move. After making some review on those parts, I found out that it's made by Denso and it's blower motor regulators. Actually, if they went bad, of course, the fans not gonna move. They're not easy to replace. They mounted with the screws from the other side. And to replace them, you need to remove the whole fan assembly out. Plugged connector, which goes to the left fan, which should always spin when I see it running. And while compressor is trying to spin, I see the voltage. But the fan do not spin. So in my opinion, the last thing that has to be changed is those Denso regulators. When your fans are connected directly to the battery, they spin, but they spin opposite direction, which is only overheating your engine more and more. So don't connect them directly on those new ones. If you have a new one and your power fans do not work, do not connect them directly using this method. Because they are spinning opposite direction. They are supposed to be spinning control clockwise. But when you connect them directly, they are spinning clockwise. And it's only worse in that your situation and overheating your engine more and more. Just try to fix this problem without being connecting them directly. It will only worsen the situation. The problem with this fan is As you can see right now, they spinning. When connected to it directly. The problem was in one of the ground points. It was loose. When I connected the tester, I got three and a half volts. As soon as I tightened the ground point, I've got uh, 12 volts on it. It's very important to get the 12. You must make sure that you actually have uh, approximately 12 uh, for the fans to work. You must have 12 volts. If you have three and a half volts, you must check for all ground points. Both of them spin and they connect it directly to the PCM. When you activate the AC, both of them spin. 
So if your friends do not spin, use a multi tester and test. You must have approximately 12 volts. If you have less, check for all ground points. This is very important. Check the relay and the fuse. This is important as well for your fans to move. As you can see, they move perfectly as well. At the beginning it was three and a half volts. It was not enough. Because it was losing some ground points in one of the plates. And another very important thing. Do not wire them directly to the battery or through relay. Because they are tainting clockwise. They supposed to rotate counterclockwise. When I was connecting them directly, the temperature, when I was idling on one place, was always going a little bit above the middle. And that's why AC was blowing the hot air. Right now I'm idling on one place more than 20 minutes. As, and as you can see, the temperature is absolutely half-half. Doesn't go above. So it's very important to proper diagnose why your fans do not move, replace the relay, replace the fuse, and um, to find out why you actually do not get the 12 volts.